Hello friends, welcome to GS Core. Uh, we are continuing with our series of daily current affairs where we discuss important news and concepts in those news. And with the help of those concepts, with the help of those understanding, what we do is we solve MCQ. Basically, solve MCQ. Hello. So, today's important news. Today's important news are carbon neighbor base right against climate change as declared by Supreme Court, solar PVs and incentives that they will get, manufacturers will get, political fundings and also Higgs boson because of the death of a very prominent physicist. So, the first news is with respect to Carvar Naval Base. Uh, Carvar Naval Base is considered to be very important. In fact, it is the only naval base housing INS Vikramaditya. Vikramaditya is the only at this point of time it is the only aircraft carrier, operational aircraft carrier of Indian Navy. Hey na? So, that is why it is important. Karwar Naval Base is important. It is located on western coast of India. Western coast of India. And next thing with respect to it is, it has gone into an upgrade. It has basically gone into an upgrade. Uh, in the coming days, this naval base will you know, it will be even more important. Why? Because INS Vikrant, another aircraft carrier that Indian government is about to induct, will be located at INS Karwar. Uh, now, with respect to Karwar, it is considered to be an important, it is considered to be an important naval post, no doubt about it. But also, culturally, it is important. In fact, Rabindranath Tagore called it Kashmir of Karnataka. Kashmir of Karnataka. Again. And it is also in a way epicenter of Carnatic music and culture. Okay. So now let us look into the question. So what this question does is first and foremost, it is one of the forms in which questions are now been asked by UPSC. So it describes Karwar. All right. So, what does it do? It is a popularly, it is popularly known as Kashmir of Karnatak, the Bengali poet and Nobel laureate uh, Rabindranath Tagore who visited it, dedicated a chapter of his memorial to this town, alright. Uh, it is on the banks of river Kali, please remember this from geography point of view, to MCQ point of view. It will provide Indian Navy with largest naval base east of Swiss Canal, alright. It is home to the base of only aircraft carrier INS Vikramaditya again right. The upcoming <coughs> aircraft carrier INS Vikrant will also be based here. Yes, the base also has countries first sea lift facility, a unique sea lift facility and transfer system for docking and undocking of the ships and submarines. All right. All this information is important from prelims point of view. Huh? Okay. All this information which is asked in this question. What is the name of above mentioned described, above described naval base? Obviously, it is INS Carver B is your answer. No doubt about it. Moving on to the next question. Now, here, what Supreme Court has done is, Supreme Court has basically, Supreme Court has basically equated right against climate change to Article 21. So, you've been protected against, you've been protected against climate change is basically your right, according to the Supreme Court of India. All right, Supreme Court said, Supreme Court said that both Article 21 and also basically Article 14, also Article 14, protects an individual's right, protects an individual against climate change. All right. Other thing, other thing with respect to, uh, other thing with respect to this decision is the positioning of government on climate change. Uh, what Supreme Court has also said was because India is committed. India is committed to UNFCCC. What is the UNFCC? Basically, it is United Nations Framework. United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. What it does is, what this organization basically does is, it prepares the ground with respect to negotiation on international climate change agreements climate change agreements. So, it basically prepares rudimentary proposals that are to be adopted as international treaties. 
so india is part of india is basically part of unfccc and it is also it is basically also part of paris peace agreement paris peace agreement is with respect to climate change all right and because india is part of it what has to be taken into consideration india being more strict with respect to its own citizens uh, from the point of view of safeguarding them from the point of view of safeguarding them all right uh, also what the court has observed it what the court has observed it basically stance with respect to climate change has to be based on sustainable sustainable development what is sustainable development simple words if i tell you sustainable development is fulfilling the needs of today without compromising with the needs of tomorrow all right so you have to move towards economic development but you have to also conserve conserve the resources of this planet including including the most important resource and that is environment that is environment then chalo now look into now let us look into the question that has been provided to us all right first statement first statement consider the following statements regarding right against climate change conservation efforts for other species should not should not hamper climate change mitigation efforts 100% okay there is no issue with respect to conserving other species but that does not mean ki practices which in this conservation take a practices in this conservation which lead to promoting climate change should also be should also be used so first statement is correct take a conservation efforts should not move, go against climate change efforts second statement people have the right to be free from adverse effect of climate change 100% this was all about this was basically this is basically what the case was about and if you look carefully enough there is a logical basically a logical relation between the two and there is basically a logical relation between the two and because there is a logical dis- relation what happens is statement 2 is ex- explaining statement 1 and hence what will mark is will mark a as the correct answer moving ahead solar pvs so what has happened basically is what has basically happened is government of india has approved list of models and manufacturers of solar photovoltaic models solar pv models modules now what it will do is it will provide it will basically provide entry of manufacturers solar pv modules manufacturers of solar pv modules into government contracts and also provide them with manufacturers it will also provide the manufacturers with subsidies also provide the manufacturers with subsidies okay if you look into what this pvs are or photovoltaic cells are so they are basically they are basically raw materials and these raw materials are needed to be worked upon by polysilicon ingots now what this polysilicon ingots do is they purify they purify the silicon purify the silicon because of which better results better results with respect to with respect to capture of solar energy and its transformation into electric energy can be done all right so if i look at the questions with respect to solar pvs at this point of time then what do you basically what do you basically understand by the question why what do you basically understand by the content and how you will will you basically solve the question so in the question the first statement is silicon ingots are the starting points of solar panel production which are then sliced into wafers and transformed into solar cells this is basically correct this statement basically is correct theek hai they are the starting point they are basically the starting points india does not manufacture solar cells or solar cells and polysilicon ingots absolutely wrong 
India is one of the biggest producers. Is one of the leading producers is of course China, but India is also one of the biggest producers. Okay. Third statement: PM Surya Ghar Mufti Bijli Yojana provides subsidies only to Indian-made solar panels. Absolutely correct. The third statement is correct. So, if the question is how many statements are correct, our answer will be B. Only two. All right. Moving on to the next question, and this is related to political funding. This question basically is related to political funding. All right. Let us look into why is it in news. So, what has been seen despite despite twenty firms being created in or within the last three years. Around 20 firms which were created within the last three years, what has been seen is they are funding political parties. They are making political donation. All right. All right. Uh, what they have done is they had made this donation through electoral bonds. Electoral bonds. Now, what do what basically the rules say? What basically the rules say? The rules say that rules say that first and foremost, uh, a particular company for the purpose of making political donations, a particular company for the purpose of making political donations, it now does not have to abide by seven five point seven point five percent ka rules. That is, a company does not need. To contain itself. पहले क्या था ना? पहले a company could only make contribution to an extent of seven point five seven point five percent of net profit of its net profit. ठीक है. Now that is no longer that basically is no longer a criteria. Second, also there is no amount. With respect to cap, so there is no cap on amount. All right, no cap on amount. And third, and most important, from the point of this news is, a company which is more than three years old, more than three years old, only that company can make political contributions. So in this case, obviously, what we are seeing is, obviously, what we are seeing is violation. All right, violation. Now let us look at the question. An Indian company can make contribution can make contribution of any amount to a political party. Uh, right now, this statement is correct. After 2017, after the amendment of 2017, this question is uh, this particular statement is correct. Second statement: A firm in existence for less than three years is not allowed to make political contribution. Again, this is correct. Against this, again, this statement basically is correct. So, if I had to mark the correct answer, obviously. C will be my correct answer because it involves both one and two. It involves both one and two. Moving on to the last news of the day. Moving on to the last news of the day. Peter Higgs, one of the leading physicists, one of the most important physicists, all right, of the contemporary generation, has passed away. Passed away. And what is his most notable contribution? Obviously, his not notable most notable contribution is the Higgs, Higgs boson. Higgs boson particle. All right, he was awarded Nobel Prize. He basically was awarded Nobel Prize. If you take into consideration what Higgs boson is, it they are considered to be God's particle. It is considered that it is from these particles. It is basically from these particles that universe came into existence. Universe came into existence. All right. These particular particles, <coughs> these particular particles, are considered to be basically photons. All right. And and these particles cannot be destroyed. Cannot be destroyed. All right. Uh, it also proves that there are subatomic particles. Basically, there are 
particles which are more fundamental than the subatomic particles also theek hai so first we knew about atom then what we knew we knew about electrons protons and neutrons which are smaller or than atoms or constitute the atom now what we know is there are particles which are smaller than this three fundamental particles which we consider then what are they they are photons they are basically photons right <coughs> so so what has happened is what basically has happened is because of higgs because of peter higgs the fundamental understanding of physics has changed all right let us look into the question that is provided consider the following statements the higgs field is a quantum field that gives mass to particles and exist and exist throughout the universe yes higgs boson particles basically give mass to the particle hai na second statement second statement in the higgs field higgs boson acts as a wave and helps give mass to other fundamental particles through its interaction in terms of its vibration against the second statement is correct higgs boson was discovered using ultra sensitive and ultra sensitive lab uh, ultra sensitive equipments by us based observatory no uh, the study of higgs boson basically is happening in europe by an organization called as c e r n all right if you take into consideration how many statements are correct b is the right answer two statements are correct thank you so much guys thank you so much see you tomorrow. see you later bye